So today we're going to talk again about frame interpolation using AI. I previously I previously made a video about this very subject uh, using hugging face, but uh, you can also you can also use uh, runway runway ML. So runway ma machine machine learning. Uh, to get the same result, so I think it's a good tool when you when you have a stereo stereo pair, and you want to create frames in between those two images, the left and the right, in order to create a lenticular. So let's get right to it. So in Google, I'm just going to look for runway ML. Okay, so there it is. Try runway for free. And it's going to ask you. I'm going to log in with my uh, Gmail account. So log in with Google. Okay, so after you after you logged in, that's where that's where you end up. So they ask what they are calling AI magic tools so i'm gonna and it's right there just explore and there's a bunch of them i mean some of them you probably already know and i might make videos about some of those later i mean text to image that's a classic remove background image to image i mean there's some pretty cool stuff here uh upscale image i'm probably gonna make a video about that one because that's a good one that's that's important image upscaler but let's let's focus on this one the frame interpolation so we're gonna work on this before we do any uh, frame interpolation we need to get the left and right images so here yeah, i'm on uh, i'm in stereo photo maker let me open stereo image i got a bunch i kind of like this one that i used before because it has a lot it's very it has a lot of parallax let's put it that way okay so this is the anaglyph okay so right now the uh, plane of zero parallax or the, the stereo window is around around here so I think it's kind of in the middle. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the stereo window to be here at the face level. So a bit a bit in the back more in the background. So I use the left right arrow keys to Okay, so I have maximum focus. If I do a lenticular when I do that, I'm going to have max, max focus or the clearest part of the image is going to be at the face. Okay. And you can see that here you have uh, quite a bit of parallax at the, at the uh, plug here. Okay, so let's do that. So the idea here, here is that I want to create a lenticular... I want to create a lenticular and I want uh the area in the picture with the which with the best focus to be the face of the worker that's my plan so that's why i do that so now we can save the left save the left and right image so i'm gonna call them the jpeg uh, that should be fine Okay, so now let's go back to Runway ML. So let's upload the left and right image, which is uh, this one and that one. Okay, so I got my left. So 
So I got my left and right image. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure the left. Okay, so this is the left, this is the right. Yep. So, okay, so let's do clip duration one second. I guess you can change that to whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. So let's do it. So generate. Okay, so let's look at it. It's very similar to what Hugging Face does. Very similar. So I'm sure they are using the same algorithm. But you can see that the face of the worker doesn't move, which means that that's the stereo window as expected because I, I explicitly, explicitly changed it. Okay. So the face doesn't move. So when you do the lenticular, it's going to be at maximum focus, which is what, what I wanted. You may want uh, the focus to be on the plug. Then you would, when you do the left, right arrow in Stereo Photo Maker, you just want the two uh, images in the anaglyph, the red and blue, match. So you just use the left, right arrow so that they, they match at the plug or wherever you want the focus to be the plane of zero parallax or the also also known as the stereo window okay so let's export it so as a mp4 resolution you might as well go to 720 so it's preparing your export Go to assets. Where did you put it? Oh, I see. Can I download? Yes. Okay, so now let's look at it in AVID Max. Okay. Okay, so now if you want to save the frames. Uh, so you would do, um, hold on, yeah, so that's the first frame, the left image. So you would do file, save as image, so you do save as BMP, PNG or JPEG, and you do that for each, each frame, so I don't know how many frames there is, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Etc. Etc. So you can save all the frames, and then you can use uh, an interlacer like Grape to create the interest image, and then you can just print that on good paper and uh, glue it to your uh, lenticular lens, and boom, you got your lenticular image. Okay, so let's try another one just for fun. I got a bunch here. Let's try that one. So here yeah, I don't even know where the stereo window is. You can just check. So the stereo window is probably at the front, which is fine. So you can tell it's at the front because there's no... I mean, if you want, you can put the stereo window here at this guy. You just use the left, right, arrow keys until the two images match so you don't have that red here so when you move it like that then the stereo window is here so that's going to be the one in focus in the lenticular but let's go let's go back to what it was so here so now the stereo window is at this guy right here so let's just save left right okay so now let's go back to runway ml 
frame interpolation. So, okay, so I need to upload. Okay, let's do a drag and drop, drag and drop, and ah, let's upload. So that's one, and that's the other one. Okay, so clip one second. Uh, generate. This one takes longer. All right. How do you get the idea? Okay. Uh, want to do another one? Maybe one more. Okay, I'll do this one. And I'm going to put the stereo window at the foreground. So, about here. So, save left, right. The three. Let's go back. Okay, generate. This one is fast. I mean, to judge of the quality, you should look to see whenever there's something that gets revealed. So things on, on this side, if it looks okay. So like here, the face of this guy gets revealed and it, it looks okay. So I'm going to stop here. If you like this kind of uh, content, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will be making more. See you around. Bye.